if you would like some of these smaller panels, I'll go ahead and tell you uh, to get in touch with your local SIM rep. And uh, if you don't know who that is, I'll show you a phone number at the end that you can call me and I'll make sure and get you in touch with them. And, uh, and we can get you a panel out there that your salesperson can, can, can carry around and show some of this product. Um, just to give you a little better idea, uh, this picture right here is a, is a picture of the inside of a fender well in the trunk area of a vehicle. And you know, and of course, the, the flight asks, how would you return this to pre-accident condition? Um, one of the things that you know we also like to, to mention is you know we talk about that self-etched green primer. Well, obviously the color that you see there is not a, a green, and self-etching primer is not available in a brown. Um, if a if the customer wanted to, or the shop wanted to mix up base coat to match that, which is previously what they've been having to do, well, as you guys all know, that base coat isn't designed to go directly to bare metal. So the first thing the guy would have to do is mix up some primer first and then be able to go on top of it with the base coat. So you're looking at a long process to be able to do this type of repair and put this color back like it was intended for. Um, the next slide basically just breaks down. What we've done is we sat down and looked at the amount of time that goes into doing these type of repairs. And obviously, you know, the larger the repair, the longer the time and the longer the, the savings that goes into that. Um, but on an average, you can actually save about 1.9, almost two hours of time. Now, keep in mind, this isn't two hours of estimated time. Uh, this on an estimate. This is two hours of shop time. And when we talked about the cycle time and improving the cycle time in the body shop, um, you know, the new 6-H laws, and I, I don't know if you can call them new anymore, but with the 6-H laws now, and not being able to spray on the shop floor with more than three ounces of, of color, uh, really presents a lot of problems for the shop. And as we go through here, you're going to see some of these slides that we'll, we're going to kind of break that down for you and, and what we can do with the, the two products we're going to be talking about. Um, the current way for going uh, and you know, before Easy Coat was for the tech, you know, whoever was working on the car, to have to walk over to the paint shop, stop what he was doing, mix up primer in a three ounce lid, and he also has a liner that's involved with that. Um, he would have to take it back over to the body shop. He would spray it, and hopefully he can get, you know, the job was small enough that he could get it done with three ounces or less. Some job, bigger job, he's going to need more than that. Um, then he has to walk back over to the paint shop when he's done. He has to dump the unused product. He has to clean the gun. He has to come back, mix the, the correct color, and have that tinted on, put that into a separate lid and liner system, uh, walk back over to the body department, and spray the color. Uh, and then he has to go back and clean it all up over again. So there's a lot of processes involved with this guy walking back and forth, making sure that he can get the primer and get the right color and everything mixed up. With Easy Coat, it's as simple as walking over and grabbing, you know, a can of Easy Coat and then coming back and spraying the Easy Coat. And then when he's done, he's finished. So there is no back and forth with it. There is no cleanup with it. Um, there is absolutely no waste involved with it. So this has been an outstanding product. Uh, and like I said, you know, I encourage you guys that if you, if you haven't talked with your local SIM rep, to make sure and talk to them. And uh, we can show you, you know, how to go out and show the product, how to go out and sell the product, although this is one uh, that, as the name would imply, easy, um, is really one of the easiest selling products that you'll find on the market as well right now. So uh, take a few moments and, 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 and get in touch with those guys to help you. The second product that we're going to talk about is Factory Pack. And as you can see here in the photo, this is a good illustration to be able to show you where we're talking about being able to use Easy Code. Basically, every vehicle that's out there, if you take off the, the skins of the vehicle, the roof skin, the quarter panel, the door skins, it's going to have some type of E code on top of it. Uh, that was actually applied, you know, at the OEM level. And once again, this is the only product to be able to go back in and duplicate that. But what you'll also find is and is in this picture is the radiator support on this truck is actually sprayed with a white. And you can tell it actually dusts back 
and you know sprays onto the easy coat. If you're on your vehicle uh, tomorrow, if you get a chance, if you ever look inside the rear trunk pan area behind the carpet, you'll actually see the e coat color, this easy coat, but you'll also see the exterior part of the vehicle, that base coat, uh, dusted on top of it. Sometimes it's completely uh, covered, so you can't tell the, what color the e coat was at all. But a lot of times it's like it is in this picture. You can see where it's been dusted and where you know where it got up onto the to the e coat. So the factory pack is the next portion of it. And factory pack is a product that we released um, a couple of years ago. And you know we we just kind of want to make sure, and we're putting some more emphasis on this product this year, and have been, and will continue to, because we truly believe that this is a product that can improve the cycle time in a body shop. When we get, and let me share here if I've got a question here. Oh, no, I don't have a question. I'm sorry about that. When we talk about factory pack, you know, obviously the, the biggest question is, is why do shops need it? Well, just like I said just a second ago, the, the biggest reason they need it is going to be for productivity. Um, you know, when you talk about the bottlenecks that happen inside of a body shop uh, of guys running back and forth and bothering the painter to have to mix up color uh, and then come back, and then, of course, the new 6-H laws with the three ounces or less being able to spray on the shop floor, all of those things um, are what contributes to why we think Factory Pack is such a good product for the productivity of it. It does eliminate those bottlenecks. And in, in turn, it's going to save them money. Also, with the air quality district, we talked about the 6-H laws. The most popular uses of factory pack, and I think this is one when we released the product, a lot of pro people were, you know, probably get a little confused about where we intend this product to be used for. Uh, for one, you can use it for cutting in new parts. You can use it for jams, small parts and accessories bumpers and backup sensors, and even mirrors and moldings. And when you when you look at it, you know, we talked about, well, you know, what are the advantages that Factory Pack has um, over a guy being able to use mixed paint from, from the paint shop? Well, a lot of guys, especially in these highly regulated areas, are have gone and switched over to the waterborne coatings. And with waterborne coatings, you know, drying is an issue, and especially, you know, most of them don't recommend to be sprayed uh, in an open shop, you need to have somewhere where you have some, some airflow to it. So that presents, you know, some, some problems, especially with the sensitivity to contamination that it would have. You know, with factory pack, it's, it's convenient. It's, you know, you grab a can of it, you walk back and you spray it. And just to make sure and clarify something, uh, factory pack is urethane base coat in an aerosol can. It is not lacquer and it's not enamel based. So this is a product that uh, is just like what a guy had been used to spraying before in solvents that he can walk over and spray. So he's already going to be used to everything that is involved with the prep times and everything uh, for that. Um, the material savings uh, not only you know, includes uh, the fact that it's going to be less persprayable outs in most cases, and especially in red colors, but uh, you know, you're also going to be looking at the fact that you don't have to use any mixing cups. Uh, there's no time that's involved with mixing the color, no time involved with cleaning the gun, no cleaning solvent or rags, no wasted paint, and no added waste stream involved with that. So where are you guys, the jobbers, going to be successful with selling factory pack? Well, the production shops that have those bottlenecks at the booth, are going to be one of the biggest areas where you're going to have success, you know, are going to be successful. Uh, shops with separate, separate paint and body departments, and we talk about the separate paint and body departments, and you talk about uh, some of the shops that I've been into uh, where the paint shop is quite a distance away from the body shop, and that's where all the paint mixing equipment is. So for a body guy, where we intend this product to be used in the body shop, uh, that's a lot of walking distance between the two, and, and the, the more time he spent walking between those two shops, the less time he can spend working on a vehicle. 
So, um, you know, any, anywhere where you have separate paint and body shops uh, or, yeah, separate departments, but also smaller shops where space is limited, where he doesn't have the ability to, to be moving cars around all the time. Uh, so, you know, Factory Pack is going to help him with that. Um, the next slide, and we had to modify this slide a little bit, and I apologize to everybody tonight. Um, we originally had a video of, of Factory Pack being used and how we intend for this product to be used. Um, one, when we got here to, to set up, it's not working, but one of the things I would like to direct you towards is our website, um, is simproducts.com. And at the end of the, the, the presentation, there will be a slide on that where you guys can go on. And on our website, there is a, tra and then underneath the training link, there is a video section. And if you haven't been to our website in a while, I encourage you to go there. But there is a factory pack video that shows in detail everything that you can do with factory pack. So um, please, you know, if, if you have an opportunity to do it tonight, that's great. Or if you want to wait till you get back to work tomorrow, um, either way. But you know, take a, a few moments over the next day or so and visit that and look at the uh, the video that we have for it. It's an, it's an interesting video to show some of the things that we can do with it as well as this picture that's on the slide in front of you right now. Um, this obviously is the, the front, front end of a, of a vehicle. And you can see where Factory Pack, they replaced the radiator support in this vehicle. Um, and they used Factory Pack, two, two coats of it, with this particular color is all it generally takes to get coverage on it. But uh, this is a prime example of what we're talking about. Um, you know, as far as, you know, a guy being able to do this right in his booth, without having to move the ve the vehicle, without having to bother the painter. So um, once again, like I said, this is just a, a good example of what, what we intend it to be used for. The next part is kind of what we did with Easy Coat. We did the same thing with Factory Pack. And the savings that's involved with, with using this product versus somebody having to mix up the, the color and do it for them. But, but on average, they can save roughly about 1.2 hours of time in the shop or, you know, $34 in materials just for doing that one simple project. So um, for a body shop, this is a, 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 a product that is uh, very lucrative for them. And as we go a little bit further into it, we're going to show how it makes it more lucrative for, for you guys at the jobber store as well. But, you know, the current way for, for being able to do this before factory pack was once again, kind of similar to the other one, the, the technician has to walk over to the paint shop, you know, mix the primer up. He has to come back and spray it with three ounces or less. He has to go back and clean everything back up again in the paint shop, mix up the color, come back and spray it, and then re-clean it again. And with this product being in an aerosol, it is exempt. So, you know, once again, he can go over there, grab the, the appropriate color, come in and spray it, and, you know, while it's flashing or while he's waiting on it to dry a little bit, he can work on whatever else is, you know, wrong with the rest of this vehicle. So there's no wasted time or material with that. This is our factory pack uh, flyer. And if you don't have one of these flyers, I'll encourage you to get in, to get in touch with your Medco representative or your local SIM representative and make sure that we get one of these in your hands. Um, it's a nice flyer that shows all the benefits uh, of being able to, to use this product as well as on the back side of it, you will see uh, what colors we do have available. Factory Pack was released in 48 different colors. You have 12 of each of the top colors from Ford, Honda, Toyota, and General Motors. So, you know, that's all, all of this is on the back side of the flyer. And one of the questions people always ask is, is you know, is that, all, is that all the colors you're going to have? Are you going to come out with more? We get this all the time. Uh, one of the things that's down here, halfway down on this flyer, you'll see BMW and Chrysler and Kia and Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan and Hyundai. All of these colors we have matched by chip to the existing factory pack colors that we already have. Uh, even though it may say that it's a Ford color or, or a Honda color, um, we have matched it to the chips 
where for doing radiator supports and things like that is going to be a good match for guys to be able to do it. So these products not only will work with those Ford manufacturers, they'll work just about everywhere. Um, you know, you always think of obviously some of your more popular colors like silver and black. Um, well, I don't think the car's going to make, you know, it, the car's not going to care whether it's a Honda or a Ford or not. Uh, you know, black is black in most cases on radiator supports and, uh, and white is white. So, uh, you know, like I said, if you don't have this flyer, make sure and get in touch with, with uh, your SIM rep or your Medco rep, and we'll make sure and get you one of these as well. So, the number one question that we get when we're talking to, um, to guys and jobbers especially about putting this product in stock is, won't this hurt my paint sales to the shop? And, you know, when we initially released this product, maybe we didn't do a very good job of explaining it as well as we should have. But, you know, what we have found is, is where we've been able to, to put this product in, we've been able to increase the cycle times uh, of the shop. And any time we can improve cycle times and keep from hassling the painter from what he's, you know, meant to do, which is to do exterior paint jobs, um, that means they can fix more cars. And by fixing more cars in the body shop and, and getting it over to him, he's going to use more paint. And that's exactly what we have seen with this product. And I have a slide coming up that's going to, that's going to talk a little bit about that from a, a, a shop owner himself. Uh, so, you know, won't this hurt the paint sales in my shop? Well, it's for jams, cut-ins, radiator supports, and et cetera. Uh, most shops, are already using something mixed already. Uh, most guys are, uh, you know, do a pretty good job of keeping a, you know, their leftover paint instead of disposing of it. Um, but we intend this product to be used in the body shop. Uh, we don't intend for the guys, the painters, to be to be doing uh, bumper jobs or or you know small small little touch ups here and there. Uh, it's still base coat. So in, in most cases on the radiator supports and everything, you're still going to want to clear coat it. And we have a product called 1K Clear that we're going to discuss as well, but uh, that does a great job on top of it. Now, if it was an exterior piece, obviously, that's why it's meant for the body shop and not the paint shop because, you know, if the guy is going to have to clear over the top of it uh, with automotive grade clear coat, he's going to go ahead and, and do the painting in as, as well. So this is the total of what we've come down to between using Easy Coat and Factory Pack. The savings of roughly a little over three hours of time in the shop and roughly about $62.45 in materials. And, you know, we've discussed the two different ways of what guys are generally doing now before these two products and the way that they can do them afterwards. And I don't know uh, if you walk into your body shops and ask them, you know, what can you do with, with an additional three hours per day? Um, I think every one of them can tell you exactly where they want to use that time. They want to use it to fix more cars. And that's exactly what we just hit on on that last slide. If we're going to give them three more hours in a shop uh, from being able to do it, now keep in mind, this is per job. So if you if, this, if he does this you know twice in a day, uh, you can you know you can start saving some real time per body man in some of these some of these applications. So what I have here uh, is a slide with a gentleman. His name is Russ Hamill. Uh, he owns a shop called Hamill Brothers Service Incorporated, and Russ has been using our factory pack now for for some time. And he is so excited about this product that he has done a, a big write-up for us, and, and he truly believes in it. But you can see here where he, he's talking about we get the huge results, 50% labor savings on many repairs, 25% increase in booth productivity, and that is absolutely huge, uh, and 10% material savings and zero waste. And he wrote in a, a nice article, and I'm just going to read one line of it to you because it's probably out of everything that he wrote here, which is very nice. Um, one line of it says it all. And it says, in a normal day, we run about four to five paint cycles. And we would be trying to fit one or two jamming jobs in during that, which would mean reducing the number of final paint jobs by that amount. 
so in you know if running four to five paint cycles and they're going to try to do one or two jamming jobs he's reducing the the amount of final paint jobs if he if he didn't have this product uh so he can actually fit in two more final paint jobs at the end of the day by using factory pack along with the easy coat product and that's absolutely huge for a, for a cycle time in a body shop and you know we all know that the insurance companies are really pressing these guys for the cycle time and for a body shop uh that's something that they should want to improve themselves because the more the more uh, efficient they are the the better and more money they're going to be able to to make he also sent in a picture and we all we, we all, you may not be able to tell exactly what this is in the photo but um this is a photo of Russ standing in front of the vehicle with a can of factory pack and a wallet in his hand and uh and he calls factory pack the money maker so uh that's that's what's truly great is that uh he has truly gotten behind this product and Russ owns a body shop that that buys through normal distribution in other words he buys from a jobber who in turn buys from a from a WD so uh this is something that obviously he's been able to to use and uh you know what they have found by doing this is that his paint sales since he began using factory pack his paint sales at the jobber store have risen so for any of you that may have questions about you know is this going to hurt my paint sales uh absolutely not this is not going to hurt your paint sales as the guys are using it the way we intend it to be used it's actually going to help your paint sales um coming up here on the last slide you know we also want to make sure and mention the third product that is listed out here to the side which is our 1K HS clear it is an aerosol clear coat that provides you know excellent gloss it dries fast uh it has great UV resistance but for guys that are are wanting to come in and they're going to use factory pack on these radiator supports or whatever they're going to be doing um if it's underneath and it's not really you know visible from you know from with the sunlight um you can put the 1K HS clear on there and it does a, an outstanding job for that which you know in turn means that the guy you know that's one less trip to the to the shop that the guy has to use to to wait on the guy to uh, to the pet for the painter to mix up the clear coat and bring that back so um with these three products we we encourage you to uh, contact your maker representative uh for any promotions that they may be running on any of these products uh that are exclusive just to you people who are attending this uh this webinar tonight um and contact your local sim rep if uh if you haven't you know seen one in a while give them a call I always encourage people and tell them you know uh we're we're going to go where we're called to go So uh put these guys to good use. I'm the trainer here, so uh it's easy for me to to say that, but uh but give them a call. Um the last thing I want to just make sure and punch up here and if you if you don't have our website, here it is. It's www.simproducts.com and also probably one of the most important phone numbers you'll have in your on on your file, which is our technical support hotline number at 1-800-831 one one two two and uh you know we always like to to tell people you know we we believe we have the best technical hotline in the industry uh, we have three gentlemen that man the phones there at sim and uh when you call somebody answers the phone you're not going to get a menu that says press 1 for this or press 10 for this um when you call somebody answers that phone call for you if you want additional training uh we also have a a uh a class called sim school that is also available on our website you can go on there and find out when the dates are for the next uh schools are going to be um we encourage you it's a two day class uh that you would come in I'm the instructor for the classes or for most of them anyway and uh you would be able to come in and and we talk a little bit about the product but then you go back and everybody actually does the hands on with each one of these products so it is a great class um there is no uh no cost involved other than getting yourself there so if you're interested in it uh by all means you know sign up for it and come we will pay for your hotel rooms we'll pay for your meals while you're here uh it is a great class and uh like I said a lot of people will uh, come through this class every year so we'll be glad to have you 
Um, I appreciate your time for coming. If anybody has any questions, I can field those. Um, so let me know what you have. We do have one question so far. David in Marion, Ohio asks, do you have any good tricks to keep my nozzle tips clean between jobs? One of the uh, one of the tips that we do have um, for keeping your nozzles uh, on spray cans clean uh, is a product called Triple X Gun Cleaner. Uh, Triple X Gun Cleaner, uh, you can actually, you know, when we originally released this product, um, is is a product that we use to clean out the guns after, you know, especially with the guns with the uh, with the the plastic liner systems. You can come out of the booth and pop the liner off and clean your guns out instantly with it. And we make it in a solvent-based version and a waterborne version. Um, but one of the neat little tricks with it is you can take the nozzle, the spray nozzle, off of the tri the X gun cleaner can and add the, the stopped-up nozzle on top of it. And give it a couple of quick squirts, and uh, it'll instantly clean that tip out like it's brand new again. And uh, and so you know you'll you'll find a lot of times that instead of having to throw cans away, uh, you'll be able to uh, to continue using the product. Are there any other questions? Okay, Larry. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Oh, no, I was just going to say thank you very much for tonight's presentation. I'm sure uh, our customers as well as our sales force will, will get some very useful uh, tips out of this presentation. I'd like to thank everybody for attending tonight's webinar. Uh, it has been recorded and will be available to you uh, on the MAU uh, website. Uh, you can click on Medco U and, and uh, re-listen or allow uh, participants who weren't able to make tonight's presentation to listen to it as well as any of the previous Medical University sessions. Uh, just a reminder that our next session will be Tuesday, October 23rd, uh, being presented by OTC, uh, covering reflash, reprogramming, coding, and the revenue that can be generated through the J2534 programming. Um, really a um, great revenue source for body shops, um, getting into the diagnostic and, and electronics uh, of cars these days. So. Again, thank you very much for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, again, if you have more specific questions on tonight's presentation, don't hesitate to contact them directly or any of your medical sales representatives, and we will help you out to the best of our ability. Uh, thank you, and good night. Thank you.